All right, we're in round two. We have the choice again. I'm going to play first, and... Hmm. Don't have a red source. Don't have a ramp. I think on the play... Mm, I think we can do better than this. I don't really like it all that much. I do like this. No red source makes it a bit too sketchy. This is like a dead card with this hand. Jet could be good. Uh, I don't want to have to... Mm. I think it's a mull. Alright. This is tolerable. Uh-oh. Red-white it is. Alright. Oh, red, blue. All right. He's got the ideal... Uh, he had a perfect turn progression there, so this is going to be a big problem real fast. Um, that was perfect, though. I always hate not... Going up against that turn progression is absolutely devastating, especially with a mulligan. Um, this is going to be a tough one already. Let's get the burnished heart down there. Already can't block because he had the good turn progression. We're really actually already kind of screwed here. <laughs> We're really already kind of screwed here. Um, the next attack is going to be a lightning bolt. At least he didn't play anything. But anything I... Ugh. All right, actually... I, I guess this isn't the worst. So we hang out. Jesus. This guy is smashing us. Well, I would have done it to the burnished heart. Would have dealt more damage. Not sure exactly how we get out of this situation, though. Um, Alright, so next turn, if he's got nothing... No, I'm still lethal. I guess that was a mistake. I'm, I'm actually just screwed. I just got screwed there. There was nothing I could do. The ordeal on turn two is just so devastating. On the Crusader. It's, it could have been anything, I guess. Any one drop into the second... That ordeal in particular is so, so brutal. Um, he's just forcing me to chump. Wow. Wow. That was sick. Sick. Really, really sick. I'm, I'm trying to think if there's any, any possible way out of this. Like, is there... I, I literally have nothing. Right? I There's nothing I could draw that would get me out of the situation. At this point, I'm just giving him information. There's seriously nothing I could draw into that would get me out of this. <laughs> I guess I could do Karyatid plus Emissary. All right. I can't even <laughs> I can't even bestow it really because well I think I'd rather just play it and that way I can chump here and kill a soldier. I'm in big trouble though. Might as well. It doesn't. It does. It really doesn't matter. I don't think. I'm. I can't believe how. Yeah. 
Crusader. Wow. All right. Harsh loss. Real harsh loss. All right. So this guy stomped us about as good as he possibly could. That was insane. All right. So we got stomped. What can I do about that? Guardians would have been good. Could have blocked him that entire time. Fade. Not really feeling that. Revelry, though, we still have that, and that's good. Let's cut the agent, perhaps. Do the guardians instead. See if I could possibly find one more guardian. Maybe we can get rid of the oath sworn. Get another guardian for better blocks. Let's try this again. He's red blue. Okay. We'll play first. Um, we'll keep it. Although I, I really wish there was some ramp. I think the distribution's good and that's about all I can ask for. Ramp there would have been really nice. All right. Eidolon's pretty good. If I draw a land here, I might be willing to just trade it up. All right. I think I'm willing to trade. All right, that's good. Let's bust our... Yep, that's good. Let's get out the Cyclops. I can Magma Jet during my upkeep, too, and get a land guaranteed, or I can just hope to draw a land. Swing for three. He's off his blue source. All right, fanatic. Can tolerate that, especially with a magma jet in my hand. Um, we we're, we're not gonna upkeep magma jet in case I get because if. <laughs> If I get the quarry here, he's he's toast. All right. Didn't get it. It's okay. We just jet this guy. In case he's got a Titan strength. Let's do it right now. Nice. Let's do the land on top in case I need the Noble Quarry. Or I could do a Tempered Cyclops. So I like both those cards. Let's get in for seven. And we've got Mortals Resolve in case he, I don't know, burns the Cyclops maybe. We actually have Lethal next turn with the Cyclops Monstrosity, so it'll at least force a block.
we do emissary on the imp, or asp, excuse me, he has to block and it takes him to I think we just monstrosity though. Well, I guess that's debatable. He's got lightning strike mana, so I might want to leave up the resolve. I kind of want to play around lightning strike. I think we play around lightning strike. Okay. So now I can actually drop the... I can leave up the monstrosity. For end of his turn. All right. All right. Let me think about this. Not quite lethal, but it does force him to block here. I don't like that that Crusader's doing work for him. All right. Um, this guy's deck's good. Helix is fantastic. Chrome Crusader plan with the ordeal is fantastic. We've got outs. Magma Jet is essential. Bolt of Karanos. He's got some good stuff going for him, though. Destructive Revelry on for the ordeal would help a lot, too. I do think Guardians is going to help a lot. We didn't see any evasive guys, right? Just little dudes and the... What was the other creature he had? Now I can't even remember. For some reason. Uh, oh, the Everflame Eidolon. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Well, that's pretty good against Guardians, I guess, but... I think I still want the big, fat blockers. Because we've just got a good late game plan. Unfortunately, that Ordeal of Perforos is so good against us. Because we just have a really, you know, a lot of 3-3s. Three but, we'll have to try our best here. I mean, maybe I want to dump the Noble Quarry. I could see that, actually. For like a Sable. Just to block a turn, because on the draw, is that even... He plays a turn one Crusader, I play turn one land, turn two... No, it doesn't work. God, that turn two ordeal of Perforos is so fast. So fast and good. Alright, I guess we just gotta try it again. There's our ramp. That's good. No Crusaders. Good news. Voyaging Seder. Also good news. Almost wish I had a 4-drop to ramp into. Fnatic is nice. Alright, didn't attack, which is good because I probably would have taken it. That's nice. Let's do Fnatic here. A 
That's interesting. All right. I really like having the mortals resolve right now. All right. So we play Guardians plus Voyaging Seder. Actually, Guardians, and then we'll leave up protection for Fnatic with Mortals Resolve. Let's do that. Because we can still play everything in our deck. Alright. Two cards left in hand. It's going to start scrying, though. You block the token so he doesn't pump the Crusader again. Two cards left in his hand. All right, that helps. Uh... This time he's willing to have it hasty in. Alright, I'm still going to leave up Mortal's Resolve rather than play the Seder. Although, Seder is useful right now. I, I feel like the Resolve is more important in case he's got Rage of Perforos. Fanatic's our main threat. Yeah, it's pretty strong. I may want to bust Resolve just to take out his Crusader. Oh, I see. Yeah, he can go about racing this way. Actually, no, we're good now. So now we Noble Quarry and we just wipe his entire board, which is just sick. Um, oh, it doesn't quite do what I want it to do, though, does it? Damn it. All right. Um, God, that is an issue. I guess we just swing... Because I can't, I, I can board wipe, but it doesn't do what I want it to do. It still kills my fanatic. So I think ask. This is an asp turn, which I can't even do if I have to mortals resolve. Hmm. All right, let's swing with fanatic. Yeah. All right. Well, it's worth a resolve. And then we'll, if I had one more land, we could put so much more pressure down. Guess we do the Seder and we leave up the Mortals Resolve number two. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, this one's tough. This is a tough one. The scry is just helping him so much, especially with the card draw. This is going to be a challenging one. All right, not playing that ass last turn was just so, so costly. Ugh, and he's right out of range now. Ugh, God, that is so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. I have to think about this. This could still pan out. All right. I think what we do is swing with Fnatic. Might as well swing with Seder, right? Or is that not right? I need to get as much damage in as I can. Wait, it untaps it too? You gotta be kidding me. 
That's so dumb. Well, the good news is we can kill his... Oh, wait. It's pro his guy, too, isn't it? God, that's so good! That is so good! That is so strong right there. Ugh! trying to think of any chance I can get out of this situation now. If there's any possible way I can make this situation not dreadfully terrible for us. Ugh, why did I attack with the satyr? I just totally... Why did I blank on Crypsis? That's such a nail in the coffin. Ugh, let me think about this. Where's destructive revelry when you need it? I think that's the real question. <laughs> Nile's disciple too. So we have outs, I guess, but God, how did I the Crypsis? The Crypsis? Jesus the Crypsis. Terrible. Well, wow. all right. Yep. So I guess we're protecting this guy. Rather trade a resolve for a Crypsis rather than a fanatic for a Crypsis. God damn. So devastating. Guess we'll do Noble Cory. Yeah, so we're dead next turn. Need Nile's Disciple. I need, um, not that. All right, so we lose, unfortunately. Yep, just, nope, could not punish the greed on the tripling up on the Crusader. We needed the Destructive Revelry to stop the Aqueous Form, which we didn't, I guess, see until Game 3. And we needed the Bolt of Karanos one turn earlier, and we would have just, oh my god, the amount of punishment we would have done. The amount of punishment for greed if we were just one turn ahead. Um, swinging with the Voyaging Seder turned out to just be a horrible mistake. Played right into a Crypsis, which I just completely blanked on untapping the creature. Um, just absolutely, totally did not think about that at all. Ugh. Disappointing. Yeah, we're dead. Nothing I can do about it. Alright, well, disappointing way to lose, but it does happen. I'll just, that's cool. All right, well, sad I lost, but yep, happens. Uh, I'll see you guys back in Swiss.